Hey guys and welcome to Cry Plays the Crooked Man. I missed the bandwagon for this almost a year ago, so I figured why not start this year with it. Yeah, that's good logic, I think. Let's go. Woo. Finally. Things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help you with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back some time. Fucking really? Oh. Nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, we'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Okay. Well, I guess this is my new place. Huh. Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him before, if he's still around. That's probably important. Paul, buddy, you're missing your license. You hear someone. What's with that place, seriously? It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace. And that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Your place isn't that bad. It's just got a huge crack and there's a phone. Hey, phone. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in my new place. Yeah, probably. Let's get a sandwich first. A refrigerator. Yeah, so open it. Fine. Fed it as then. Man, I'm tired. All right, then. Uh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. All right. We'll go set a foot through his ass. That's a bathroom. How did that transition up that way? Closet? Not many clothes inside. Okay. Oh, right, I should have left my own room. Knocking gets no response. Okay. You? No. You. No. You. Yes. Who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just... I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was sleeping until you woke me up. You trying to start something. You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. I... I guess so. 
Sorry for waking you. Bye now. Well, of course she wouldn't be waking you. She's all the way over there, man. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Well, it could have just been one of the other neighbors who didn't want to respond. Something's leaking. This. Yikes, the water is the faucet busted. Hmm. Under the bed. Spooky. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. How would Paul try to... Whatever. Check under the bed. Look under it. Get under there. Get inside of it? Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Hmm. Found something. Get a... Alright. Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's that? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Alright. You have a good night's sleep again, I guess. Hopefully you don't get woken up again. That sounds dull. Where's that coming from? Give me a break, I need to sleep. Should probably buy earplugs. Phone! Hello. Yeah. Thanks for all the... N no, no, I didn't mean... Just... I'm busy with work, so... Yeah, Come visit today. Tell her that for me. Alright, bye. Man, I slept into noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Noon? That's nothing. Please. I rarely ever get up before one or two. Well, time to leave, I guess. Hey, man, you're fucking creepy looking. Paul, what is it? Yeah... I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, that's... Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but... Oh, thanks. So, be gone somewhere. Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of childish brat would do you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. What a wonderful friendship you two have. One of the best. No need to go in there. Someone can't stand somebody and they're laughing at it. Hello, dying person. Oh. Mom. It's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good. You look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My... That's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me, so... Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You'll like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom. I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh, yeah. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh. Who would you be? 
Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? No. Get out, I'll have you thrown out. Somebody, somebody! There's a strange man in my room, get rid of him now. Mrs. Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me, get away. Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave her today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy. Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Huh. Mom. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please. Don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy. Please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But, but she said my... I said leave. Goodness. Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. That's a serious case of Alzheimer's. Goodness. Well, I guess I understand why you don't visit your mom anymore. Hey, Doc. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah. Though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yeah. She's forgotten many things. And she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better. So you can live with her again. Nice. I hope you can help her. Well, time to go have a wonderful night in my room. Being woken up again by a man who's crying. This is supposed to be the crooked man, not the crying man. Hello. Uh... Was I like that before? That chair was supposed to be this way. You? I'm your trash can. Old computer. Did I move that chair? Mm hmm There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be a former tenant's. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Maybe. I mean, he got free shit. So I'm assuming that's not his old computer, though. No one would leave a computer. So much history. Eh. <laughs> Cookies. Phones. Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? Ha! Huh. You saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's fine. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see ya. Dots. Well, Shirley sounds like an ex-girlfriend who really likes you still, David. In some manner or form. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Sleep. Probably. Hope you finish your drink at least. Sleep time. Hey, television! Turn off. An old TV. Yeah, press the power button. 
Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Yeah. It said sink, though. What? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? It did say sink. You're right. Let's go look at the sink. Hmm. There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. That's a lovely rhyme. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Now you should probably complain to the landlord. But hey, whatever, man, David. You do what you gotta do. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Well, guess that's not working out so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Pick me a better place, goddammit. Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat-up apartments? A kid with shitty parents? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Sure, let's go check. Children! Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Ah. Okay. Every time I leave my freaking house, some house. Not, it's not a house. Every time I leave my apartment, something bad happens. Hmm, you. Uh. You. Hey, I'm a cup. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Oh, wait, what? Says, help me, all right. The coffee says, y you gotta be. This room is really, really strange. There's voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Call a haunting, silly. Uh, hi, Paul, it's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy, ha! Huh? Haha, <laughs> yeah, um, what's up on last night? I gotta ask you something, is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady. You curious about something? Well, it seems like you forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. Yeah, good call. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Sure, man. Did he clean up this mess? Doesn't look like he got it all. Should really purchase some better cleaning products. See that shit on TV all the time. Also, kind of wish there was music. It feels kind of like empty and barren. There's another crack in the friggin' wall. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see. About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave with the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I... I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you like. But no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry it wasn't very useful. Well, you could have been. I just decided to make you not. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well. I'll get back to my room. Look in the crack. Touch it. Probably get a splinter. Go up the stairs. You're terrible at that.
Okay, yo. And the room is dirty. Hey, my crack is fucked up. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? I got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. Maybe it's for your heart. The guy's voice, the kid's voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. <laughs> it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me, either. What? Who the fuck says that kind of thing, David? You're fucked up. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. You sure like calling it a day a lot. Am I getting woken up again? Yep. What? What? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Possibly. Television, are you okay? An old TV. Maybe my computer. You? Oh, you're fine. Bathroom? Uh, this. No. You? Here's something in the room. So it's in here. A crack? It's a large crack in the wall. Yeah. Uh, phone. Tissue box. Dresser. Fridge. Stove. Sink. Hmm. TV? What a... What is the sound? You? Ah, it came from in here. The radio. What's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Hmm, there's something on this paper here. It's... An address. Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Huh. Apparently someone used to go there to just... Hello! What? I'm... I'm waiting for you. What... Why did... Now... And when did it... What... What? I think Dave was a little bit spooked. So, you sleep well last night? Sorry to had you sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Huh, wasn't expecting it, but no sweat. It don't sweat it. But, hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into this newlyweds love nest. Hey, why you? Ha ha ha, just kidding. No, there's blood all over my living room. Seriously, though, uh, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right? Hey, I'm glad I have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about this Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it, it's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you've got your mother to look after. But I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm gonna go on a little trip. 
Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Breakfast's ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. Um, I'm out of here. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Come anytime you like. I will not. There. Looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five-hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Well, I guess you cleaned up your wall. That's good. I'm proud of you, Davy. Prologue. David's room. End. Fancy that. Selection. <laughs>